Octopus Deploy is an automated deployment system. It's designed to make it easy to deploy your ASP.NET web applications and Windows services to machines that might be on-premises, in a corporate data center, or in the cloud. The dashboard gives everyone on your team an overview of your deployments. Along the top, we have different environments, development, UAT, staging, and production. Down the left, we have projects. Each project is a group of ASP.NET websites, Windows services, or other components that are deployed at the same time. You can see what happened during a deployment, along with who initiated it. This project consists of a SQL Server database migration project, a Windows service, and an ASP.NET website. You can drill into the logs and view the output of PowerShell scripts that were run on the remote machines, as well as changes to configuration files. The Windows service was installed on an application server, while the website was installed to two web servers. The application that I've deployed is an ASP.NET website. Let's make a change to the site and go through the build and deployment process. I'm going to add a link to the homepage to encourage visitors to sign up. I make the change and commit the change to my source control system. When the changes are published, my continuous integration server picks up the change. It compiles the code, tests it, and packages up the application ready to be deployed. It then tells Octopus to deploy the change to my development environment. My change is now live in the development environment. In Octopus, we can view the release and promote it to UAT. When promoting a release, we can see a preview of the steps that will run, as well as the machines that they'll run on. I've promoted the change to staging, and we're ready to go to production. But there's a problem. I don't have permission to deploy to production. I'll sign in as a different user who does have permission. Again, we get a preview of the machines that will be involved in the deployment. My production deployment has paused and is asking for confirmation. This is an example of a manual step. You can use manual steps in Octopus at the start of a deployment to ask for approval, at the end for validation, or even midway through a deployment when there's a step that just can't be automated. I can watch the deployment as it executes. I can even watch the output from PowerShell scripts live as they're running. My production deployment is complete. Defining your deployment process in Octopus is easy. Instead of giving you a workflow editor, Octopus is built around high level steps and it has a lot of conventions that make automating your .NET deployments very easy. Here you can see the steps for my project. There's that manual approval step, then my database and Windows service packages are installed, and then the website package. In addition to packages, you can also run PowerShell scripts. 
When we look at a package step, there are a number of built-in features that are useful for .NET deployments. Octopus can automatically update configuration files and even create IIS websites and application pools. No two environments are ever the same, and Octopus handles this using variables. Variables are simply settings that can be scoped to different environments. Sensitive information like passwords are stored securely, encrypted in the Octopus database. During deployment, Octopus will automatically match variables to your configuration files. If you have application settings or connection strings, the values will be updated with no scripting required. Octopus can deploy using an agent to machines that are either on-premise or in the cloud, with multiple options for dealing with firewall limitations. It can also deploy Windows Azure Cloud Project, or use FTP or Git Push to deploy to services like Windows Azure Websites, Heroku, or App Harbor. Octopus enables you to deploy consistently across all environments, while allowing different team members to initiate deployments. Using a consistent process across all environments ensures that issues that might affect production are picked up early, which ultimately makes deployments more reliable. This creates a virtuous cycle. Your team will begin to feel more confident in deploying changes, so they'll deploy more often, and because they're deploying more often, it'll result in smaller changes being deployed. Ultimately, this means that you can deliver value faster. Octopus is free to use for small projects, so what are you waiting for? Say goodbye to remote desktop and make production deployments fun.